not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. Then you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. God, that's her informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. What the hell happened? Bastard! Come on, we need to get... Come on. You fellas couldn't hit the ground with your head! One of them.
God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh... Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse... I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, oh boy. No. You don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston. Even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it... We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. 
But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. We need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. 